I have received a request for an English tutorial video on how to do text-to-speech using the RVC Web UI trained model. So I have put together a video on how to do text-to-speech with the RVC train model. In this video, I will use the voice generator Webu to perform text-to-speech. I hope that this series of information will inspire you to try text-to-speech with the training model created by AI Voice Changer. First, click on the Google Collaboratory sample code found in the video summary section and on the article page. In this notebook, we have included a program for English speakers to run the voice generator web UI and instructions on how to use it. To run the Google Collaboratory program, log in with your Google account. Click Copy to Drive or Save a Copy in Drive. Rename it as you like and follow the series of codes. First, prepare the necessary trained model and other files in advance. If you do not know how to create a trained model from an original dataset in the RVC Web UI, or how to use Google Collaboratory basically, please refer to this video to prepare a trained model first. As a reminder, in the VG Web UI, if you want to use the original trained model, select the RVC V1 model in the train settings. Before explaining how to prepare the trained model, I will run this code to mount the Google Drive. When executing the Google Drive mount, select the Google account used for the Google Drive and grant permission. Select the Google account used for Google Drive and then allow. I will now explain how to prepare the train model. In the RVC Web UI, once the model has been trained, download the necessary files. First, download the trained model PTH format in the weights folder. This file is required. Next, download the index file named added in the logs folder, which is located in the folder named after the trained model you created. This file is not necessarily required, but we will use it for a test. Finally, download this file, called totalfee.npy. 
This file is not necessarily necessary, but I will try it out. After downloading the various files, create a folder with the same name as the trained model's PTH format and place the files in the folder. This time, I chose the name Amatero, which is a one-byte alphanumeric name. Note that the index file named added here should be renamed added.index as shown in the video. Upload the folder containing the trained model and other data you just created to Google Drive, in My Drive. To view the file on the Google Collaboratory, click on the file icon here. If necessary, click the refresh mark on the file to reflect the latest status. You can see that the folder named Amatero that you just uploaded to Google Drive is reflected. If a folder is not reflected, it may be reflected by closing and opening the file structure. If it is not reflected, upload the folder of the trained model to Google Drive in advance before mounting Google Drive. When the trained model is ready on the Google Drive, execute the code shown here. The process will take a while, so please wait. Move the folder named Amatero, that you just uploaded to Google Drive to the Models folder, in the VC folder of Voice Generator Webu. The function of ESPNet seems to be added to Voice Generator Webu, so execute this code and install ESPNet. If you want to use English text-to-speech, you may not need the ESPNet function, but if you do not install ESPNet, you will get an error in the launch the VG Web UI code in Step 5, so please be sure to install it. Now let's run the code to launch the Voice Generator Webu. Click on this, running on public URL text link to use VG Web UI. First, let's try text to speech using the originally prepared speaker's voice. Enter the text you want to voice around the text field. At Language, select the language. In this case, we want to voice in English text, so we select N. In the speaker field, select one of the originally prepared speakers.
Speed settings can also be set from 0.1 times to 2 times. At voice conversion, you can choose whether you want to change the voice or not. In this case, I will not change the voice, so I will select no conversion. All that remains is to click on Generate from text. The result will be output at output audio. Let's listen to the audio. Decades from now, when we look back on the history of AI, the year 2023 will be recognized as a turning point for the spread of voice AI. Speaker 1 seems to be a female voice. If you want to download it, you can do so by clicking on the dots here. As a matter of fact, I feel it is a great program just for having these features. Depending on the speaker, there seems to be differences in male and female voices, accents, etc. Now, let's make a voice change. To make a voice change, select the original train data at the voice conversions section. In this case, I select the model trained with Amatero's voice. For reference, let's listen to the audio of Amatero's voice in advance. Then, at the VC setting, select whether to raise the key. If the key of the voice does not change much, such as female to female or male to male, set it to zero. As an example, to convert a male voice to a female voice, set the key to plus 12 to raise the key, and to convert a female voice to a male voice, set the key to minus 12 to lower the key. However, for a voice change to a much higher voice like Amatero's, it seemed better to choose a female voice and set the key to plus 12 keys. Therefore, I will set the key to plus 12 keys, this time with a female voice. At the pitch method, it seems that you can choose between two methods. If speed is important, select PM, and if accuracy is important, select harvest. In this case, we will select harvest. Once the settings are made, click Generate from Text. It seems to be done. First, let's listen to the text-to-speech synthesis of the male voice before the voice change. Decades from now, when we look back on the history of AI, the year 2023 will be recognized as a turning point for the spread of voice AI. Then, let's listen to the text-to-speech synthesis utilizing the original train and data. Decades from now, when we look back on the history of AI, the 2023 will be recognized as a turning point for the spread of voice AI. The voice has changed. For reference, let's also listen to the text-to-speech synthesis of a model trained at 40 kHz under the same training conditions. Decades from now, we meet back on his new AI year 2023 will be recognized as a turning point to the spread of voice AI. I also tried the latest RMVPE vocal pitch extraction algorithm implemented in the original version of RVC Web UI as of July 2023. Personally, I felt that the sample rate set to 40 kHz and the harvest pitch extraction algorithm was closer to Amatero's voice quality. You can download this voice data using the same procedure as before. After much trial and error, it seems that changing the originally prepared speaker will change the voice changed voice, so can you convert it to your preferred voice? Please try various trial and error to see if you can convert the voice to your liking. First time voice synthesizers may be puzzled by the series of operations, but once you confirm how to operate the program, you will be fine the next time. I thank the developer for releasing such a useful program. Although I believe that Voice AI is still in its infancy, I believe that being able to try out this kind of program will give people a chance to get in touch with the advances in AI, and may lead to some people becoming interested in machine learning programming. I look forward to future developments in the field of Voice AI.
See you soon.